If you're ready to learn how to take healthy coleus cuttings and so you can grow them out in your garden in the future like these, stick around because we're going to show you how to do that today. Hey there, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi. Hey, we're here to help you become a better gardener. And today we want to show you how to take coleus cuttings. Yeah, these beautiful cuttings you see in front of us, there are actually six total and they've all rooted, you guys. We took these six weeks ago. Yeah, and so uh, we're going to show you how to actually transplant coleus cuttings that are still in water, transplant them into larger containers. So we'll get to that a little after we show you how to actually take coleus cuttings. Yay. Now, before we get started today, we wanted to let you know this video is sponsored by Crescent Garden. They're a great company. They have tons of different kinds of containers and gardening supplies and tools for you. So we have a link down below. Go check that out for us. But we wanted to also highlight their Eva planter. Yeah, their Eva planter is super versatile. It comes in 10 different sizes, ranging from five inches up to 18 inches in diameter with seven different colors available as well. And so. they gave us a special coupon just to give to you guys for 15% off your whole, your whole order. And if you use the coupon code SPOKENGARDEN15, at checkout, you'll get that uh, discount. Yeah, and if your order is over $49, you get free shipping. Yeah, that's so, awesome. coupon code and free shipping, that is awesome. So, check out so, the link down below or up above, right above you there. And uh, thank you, Crescent Garden. Thank you, Crescent now, Garden. Now, let's get into actually taking some coleus cuttings, right? Yep. And the first step is to go look at your plant. So here we are, this is our first planter. We've got our coleus plant right here. You can see it's planted in amongst a bunch of other plants in here, kind of tight. Um, it grew okay, but uh, because of how tight we have it in here and some of the weird intense heat that we've had out here in the Pacific Northwest, we're in zone 8B, uh, if you didn't know that already. So we've had some really intense summer heat. And so uh, some of these plants, most of these plants have really gotten kind of just that intensity and it kind of hurt their growth. It really did. I mean, the zinnia, um, just a whole bunch of things in here just aren't looking very well. So including our coleus plant. So we've got some t stem tissue here. We're going to go in here and we're going to take that stem tissue and we're going to take our stem cuttings so we can go make new plants out of them. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to look at this plant. We're going to see if we actually have decent, healthy stem tissue, new stem tissue to actually take these cuttings with and we do we've got some really good tissue here we want to make sure that it's not woody we want to make sure that it's still soft and succulent kinds of growth um, because we want to make sure that it's got that juvenile uh, growth in it so it actually it'll it, it'll root faster it'll be more robust in its rooting so that's why we're looking for that growth so i'm going to use my micro snips here um, from corona tools uh, you can use hand pruners you can use any other type of clean cutting uh, cutting utensil and uh, you can find the links for these down below and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my micro snips I'm going to find this first stem here and we're, we're looking for about four to six inches worth of stem length so I'm going to go down here and I think we've got that here in this first stem I'm going to go to where it's attached at the base here and I'm just going to cut that off there we go that's a nice stem cutting That'll make a really good stem cutting. So I'm going to take that cutting and set it over here. So we're going to go after this next stem cutting and we're going to follow this stem down to its attachment here, that succulent soft growth, that softwood growth. There we go. Yep, there's a nice good one. That's a really good cutting right there. I'm going to set that off to the side. Now we've got this other stem here. This is, this is a good one. Again, going down, looking for its attachment. Snip that off. Now on this one, this is interesting. It's actually starting to flower. And you might be thinking, well, wait a minute. Um, should I, shouldn't I not take that stem cutting? That stem is a cutting because it's actually in its reproductive phase. It's actually biologically switched over to reproduction. And in most cases, yeah, you'd be right. But with coleus, this is okay to take this cutting, this stem with this flower on it, because what we can do is we can get in here and we can just snip or pinch that flower off and it's okay. That's going to help it root easily or more easily than it would if we would have kept that on. So these root so easily as a, as a plant that uh, we can do that. So that's okay in this case. So our last, second to last stem cutting, we're gonna do the same thing we just done last couple times. Go down to the point of attachment, snip it off. There we go, another great cutting. Cool, this is looking good and good, better and better. So, okay, and our last one, here we go. This one's got a lot of leaf tissue on it. So that's great, look at that. Point of attachment, cut it off, set it to the side. Now, this plant, it's gonna continue to grow until our nighttime temps get really, really low, about 45 or so degrees. And then it's gonna basically get too cold for it to, 
to uh, keep growing and it's going to wither and die. It just won't take our cold temperatures, especially our damp cold temperatures out here, especially if it freezes. Uh, we get a really quick freeze, a really early freeze, it'll die. But until those times come, until that weather comes, it'll continue to grow from the base here and from here it's still gonna be really beautiful and we'll be able to enjoy it. So we've got all those stem cuttings. Let's go over to the next plant and see how many cuttings we can get from it. Now, this plant right here, really this coleus plant, coleus plant, it should look a little bit bigger. It should have grown bigger, but because of its growing conditions here, I mean, we've got the celosia, we've got this, uh, we've got the zinnia here. There's actually bulbs underneath here too. And we packed this plant in here and it just didn't do so well. Plus it's getting pretty much full sun uh, almost the whole day and that impacted it as well. So we got what we got, but it still has healthy tissue for us to take cuttings from. So right now we're, we're gonna look for four to six inches worth of stem tissue for each cutting to take. And it looks like we've got that here. We've got at least one, maybe two here on this one. If we take the cutting down here and then we half it, this, this whole stem could actually become uh, two uh, yeah, it could become two stems right there, two cuttings. And same with this one. Now this one right here, this will probably end up being just one cutting, but that's great. So I'm gonna use the hand snips, uh, the micro snips. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna hold on to this stem cutting and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put it right at the base of its attachment. And then I'm gonna cut it and there's our first cutting. I'm gonna set that right there. So in the next one, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna, we wanna get most of the tissue, the most tissue we can. So that's why I'm taking so much of this. And see, this is interesting right here. This is actually starting to get kind of woody and we don't want that tissue. That's actually too hard. So we're gonna cut that away. We don't want that. We want the more succulent tissue, the softer tissue. So, okay. so. There's that guy, so there's that maybe, that's just gonna be one. So just gonna keep going here and we've got this other, we got this next cutting here. I'm just gonna go down right where it's attached, still succulent tissue, and that's good because it's juvenile and it'll have some vigorous growth for it. Now, I'm gonna get this long stem left here. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go down the base. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna feel this and make sure, yeah, that's kind of, kind of woody, semi. Let's just cut a little bit of that off because I don't want that. So I'm gonna set that, that stem cutting over there. We've got more growing points at, at the base of this coleus, and we're gonna leave this uh, alone from here on out. It'll probably regrow, uh, yeah, it'll probably regrow a little bit more um, before the really cold temperatures come. So we'll still be able to see some of that beauty until, um, until it stops growing and actually withers and dies because in our climate it's not hardy. So. so we've taken our cuttings now you might run into the same issue that I have here um, we've already taken some cuttings we've we've already took off that one flower on those cuttings but on these other cuttings they've got some flowers still on them so if you run into this where you have full flowers starting the flower on there it's okay these cuttings will still root coleus is like that where you can remove that and then it'll still easily root. So what we're going to do is, is take your snips. We have micro snips. You can use your hand pruners. That's perfectly fine. Look at the flower, find that flower stem, come down to where the first set of leaves are on it. And you're just going to take your micro snips, go right above that stem, put your micro snips and your blades right above the stem there where the, uh, the stem comes down to those leaves. And you're just going to cut that off. And there you go. You still have those, you still have those leaves. You'll still be able to use those for your cutting, but the flower is gone. So we've got, we've got another flower in development here. We're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna come down on that stem just above where those leaves are, and then we're gonna cut that off, and there you go. Now this is funny, there's, there's some little flowers right in here on, on this stem, so I'm just gonna cut those off real quick. I'm gonna, they've got little stems on them there. I'm just gonna cut those off. Because we want this plant to root we, I mean, we want, these, we want these stems to root. We do not want them to flower. And that's two separate things that this stem, this plant stem will do, but it can't do both of them really well at the same time. So we want it to concentrate on root production. Therefore, we take those flowers off. So there we go. So there's that one. We've got a couple more here we got to do. So again, find that flower stem, go down to the first set of leaves you come to on that stem, cut just above those leaves, and that flower is gone. So. Do the same thing on this guy right here. There we go. Yep, looking good. And you know, 
Um, right after this, what we're going to do is we're going to actually, I'm going to take this off and then I'll show you the next step here. We got we to gotta prep these stems to go into water or into soil. Now, we didn't talk to you about this before. We actually have three treatments that we're going to root these stems at. We've got a water treatment. So we're literally going to prep these stems and then stick them into just straight up water and they'll root in that. Then we've got soil, we've got potting soil. We're gonna stick these into the potting soil without any root hormone. And our third treatment is the same thing as the second treatment. It's gonna be the potting soil, but instead of just straight up potting soil, sticking these stems into, we're gonna dip them first into this rooting hormone. And so this is a plant growth regulator. It's naturally sourced, but it helps these little stems more easily root um, along the stem here. So we're gonna use that. And so we're gonna have the no treatment in water, no treatment in soil, and then root hormone treatment in soil. So those are our three treatments. So, oh, and if you're looking for this root hormone, you wanna check it out, links down below, just in the description. So now let's prep these stem cuttings. What we're gonna to have to, what's gonna to happen to these? We need to think about this, right? These stem cuttings, a portion of this stem is gonna go into the soil or it's gonna be submerged into the water. Therefore, we don't want any of this leaf tissue out here on this stem to be there because we don't want it to rot. We don't want it to make another problem like bring a disease in or some type of stress. So we need to remove that from the stem so it actually is nice and clean and the plant can actually, these stems can actually really focus on rooting. So here we go. We're just gonna remove them with our snips. Real easy to do. Just, there's a little piece down there. We're just gonna cut that off. We're just gonna cut these back to the stem as close as we can get them without damaging the stem. And we're just removing the other stems and leaves on that. So this is going to be, this might be a little hard for this to make it through, but we'll see. It's just because it's got very little leaf tissue on the top there, but I'm hopeful that'll work fine. So here's another one. Here's another stem. We're going to need, we're going to need this, these sets, this set right here of, uh, of, of leaves to be removed. And then this one too. So I'm just going to, again, get as close as I can to that stem and remove those, cut those stems away. Here's that too, just cut that away. Oop, got a little close on that one. So there we go, okay. Oh, here's our done pile. And again, we're gonna go up to here to make sure that this portion of the stem is gonna be submerged uh, underneath the soil or the water. So we'll remove these, cutting as close as we can to that stem, but not damaging the stem. There you go, all right. I'm just gonna keep going here. Got a little, little bit more prep to go. So now that we've prepped these cuttings, let's count them out and make sure we have nine cuttings because we're going to do three in water, we're going to do three in soil with no rooting hormone, and then we're going to do three in uh, potting soil with rooting hormones. So we need nine total. So let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plant these stem cuttings first in the soil without any treatment. So what we're going to do is, is we just literally, these have already been watered in, by the way, this, the soil is nice and wet. I'm just going to take the cutting. All I need to do is just push it down into the soil and then just tamp the soil down around it as best I can. Make sure the leaves are outside. They're not inside the pot like that. You want them outside. So they're uh, photosynthesizing fully and they're not touching the soil because they can rot. They can do some other funky things. We don't want to do that. So here's that. There's one. So let's go with another one. Just push it down in there. Tamp that down a little bit. And then our last one. There we go. Done. First treatment's done. Looking good. So I'm going to set those off to the side here. There we go. Now, next up are the round pots. Now these pots, these cuttings are going to get treated with the rooting hormone. And so you want to do it in this sequence. What you want to do, first what you want to do is you want to pre-plug your holes in each pot. So when you stick these stems in here, the rooting hormone that's on the stem, and I'll show you an example of this in a minute, but I'm going to describe it to you. You do not want the stem, like this is the stem, you don't want the rooting hormone on the stem to push through just the soil, because when you push it through the soil, it'll strip all of that rooting hormone off of it. You don't want to do that. You're wasting the rooting hormone. So you pre-do pre the holes. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your water and you're going to, you're going to use your rooting hormone. You're going to take your stem cutting. You're going to dip it in the water 
and then you're going to dip it in the running hormone. And this is what's commonly known. And then you're going to put this into the hole just like that. And you're going to tap down the soil around that. And so this is what's known as dipping and sticking. It's a dip and stick. So it's kind of fun. Some people, some people like it, some people don't. I like using that, that term again. And so I'm going to show you this. See that hole I, pre, I did the pre-plug on it, the pre-hole? Now when I take this stem with this rooting hormone on it, I can just easily put it in the hole. And as I put it in there, it's, the soil's not going to strip that rooting hormone off. See? So there we go. Then I'll just put it down in there. I'll steady that. And then I'll tamp that soil down around that. Yep, that one's done. And then let's get another one here. Let's do, let's do this one without so many leaves on it. Oops, did that wrong. That happens. Put it in here before I put it in the water. So put it in the water, then put it into there, into that rooting hormone. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so those are done. Now, let's make sure, where do the Ys? When you're done with the rooting hormone, put the cap back on it, tighten it down, and set it to the side. You don't want to have a big mess of root hormone all over the place. Okay, so now the last thing to do is to stick our uh, stem cuttings into this water. Super easy to do, and this is what you do. You just literally stick them right down in there. Make sure that those stems are getting down into the water and they're staying there because you can stick them down in. Some of the stems sometimes, they'll pop up out. So there you go. So those are all in there. Uh, they're all staying put, submerged under the water. And where the submergent of the water, they're going to actually start growing roots. And we'll be able to see, this is a fun way to do this because you can actually start seeing over about two to four weeks, uh, two, no, two to three weeks, you'll be able to start seeing the roots grow really fast on these. And you can watch every day. You can just literally just look on the side here and look for those little root nodules. You'll, you're going to start to look for uh, little bumps, white bumps along the stem. And those are the nodules of the roots that are going to start to grow. And then uh, as the days go by, they'll just start growing in length right out into the water. So it's fun to do. Okay, so next, um, if you remember earlier in the video, we mentioned that we need to transplant our rooted cuttings from our water, our previous coleus cuttings, we need to transplant these. So we want to teach you how to do that because you're probably going to need to do that in a few weeks as well. Okay, so to get started on our transplanting uh, project right now, um, we went ahead and um, got these ready ahead of time. This is a good idea for you as well. We're going to use one gallon pots because we want to really encourage them, the roots to keep growing and for the plants to get larger up top. So we've got three one gallon pots because we have three cuttings to transplant. We have um, just a basic potting soil. So, and we have not watered the soil yet. We're going to do that after. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a little room inside for the cutting. And the hardest part of this is carefully taking the coleus cuttings out of the jar and separating them. So if you can see here, there are a mass of roots in this, in this jar. So I might need to do a little bit of root pruning and I'll show you what that means in just a minute. So the easiest way to do this, I mean, it looks kind of like you don't want to damage the plants at all, right? Just carefully put your hand underneath all the plants and just start pulling them up. This is where it's going to get pretty fun here. Wow. So what I'm going to do is just simply untangle as best I can. Wow, look at this, you guys. These rooted very well in water. We're excited for you with your coleus cuttings as well, because this again was only about six weeks. We took these in early August. So I'm going to carefully just lay these down. I'm going to keep one in my hand. So. All right, so here is our coleus cutting. You can see how long the roots are. They're almost longer than the whole stem. So I'm looking at this right away and thinking about how this is going to be planted. And the roots are going to be a little too long for me to start with. So I'm actually just going to cut them right in half. I'm going to take my, my, my pruning snips from Corona Tools and just cut those right in half. You're not going to hurt the plant. It's going to, they're going to keep growing. So what you want to do is help it transition to the soil as best you, you can. Now I'm going to look at the stem and since about half of this stem was underwater, I'm going to actually plant it up to the soil level up about halfway up the stem. Another reason I'm going to plant it so deep in the soil about halfway up the stem is because it needs that stability. You want it to get stabilized and get it get the roots kind of growing and and um, happy in their new home. 
Okay, so I'm going to make a, make a hole here in the middle. I'm going to stick our cutting down, make sure all the roots are in there. And I'm just going to fill it, backfill it here with the soil. Okay. It's got plenty of leaf material to keep photosynthesizing and uh, we'll water it in just a second. Let's grab our next cutting. Looks pretty healthy. And again, the roots are really long. So I'm literally just going to half these so they have a better chance of not bunching up inside the pot and circling around too much they'll have more chance to kind of establish and and uh, do their thing in their new home so this looks good i'm gonna get my my hole ready again i'm gonna go about probably halfway up the stem maybe a little lower so i'm gonna add a little soil here just to kind of here just to bring this uh, soil level up because it's kind of low in the pot it was only down to about here so we want this coleus cutting to be very stable, which will ensure that it, it thrives. And it's new home. Okay, so I'm gonna just tamp the soil down just a little bit, make sure all the leaves are outside of the soil. And second cutting is done. Okay, here's our last water cutting. Looks really good, really healthy snip. Okay, we've got some roots growing out the top here as well. So you wanna make sure and get those under the soil level. So be very mindful of that if you have so, uh, roots coming out of different um, parts of the stem. I'm gonna dig my hole in here and start covering it all with the potting soil. Definitely need to add some more because it's kind of low. Okay, what do you think? Looks good. So all I'm going to do is water those in and make sure they're good and moist. And that's it for transplanting. Just keep an eye on them. Make sure they stay moist. Don't let them dry out too much. And you should have some really healthy coleus cuttings ready to transplant into your garden next season. So, wow, we hope you learned a lot from this video. We hope it encourages you to go out and take your own coleus cuttings or other plants that you want to take cuttings for to overwinter and have next spring and summer. If you have any comments or questions about what you saw here today, you saw us do, or you want a little bit more information, go ahead and leave those comments and questions down below. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. And we now have courses available on a site called Amphi, and that will be linked down below. And we have a plant propagation course where we can take this a little bit further and actually give you one-on-one -on -one coaching or an introduction to plant propagation. Yeah, guys, we really want to help you uh, just make more plants from the plants you already have. And whether that's taking cuttings, whether that's actually dividing plants, whether it's planting seed and some of the intricacies of that, uh, or some other ways uh, to propagate plants, we want to help you do that. So that's why we have this available on amphy.com, A-M-P-H-Y.com. So with that, we thank you for watching and for being here thank today. You. We hope that was really helpful for you and we'll see you in the next video. Yep. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.